Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Realm of Ori. In this video, we will continue with Volume 13, Chapter 3, Labyrinth Siege, Part 3. And before we start, this video contains spoilers from the anime and manga series. And by the way guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get notifications for upcoming videos. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The current location is one of the deepest rooms of the maze. There was a secret conference room there that even Rimuru didn't know about. The masters within the labyrinth then gathered in this vast hall. The leader is Beretta, the labyrinth coordinator, who is the adjutant and agent of Ramirez. There are four dragon kings of all kinds. There was the flame dragon king, the ice and snow dragon king, the gale dragon king, and the earth shattering dragon king, each occupying four corners of the hall. The floor guardian of the 90th floor, the nine tailed beast Kumara. The floor guardian of the 80th floor, the bug emperor Zijin. Apito, the bug queen, the 79th level of the domain guardian. The floor guardian of the 70th floor, Adelman, the immortal king. The vanguard of the 70th level, Albert Paladin of the dead. They are what people call the ten lords of the labyrinth. There were also three other people who looked abrupt. Next to Adelman was an old man with a keen eye, he was Gadra. To accompany the end seat were the floor guardians of the 50th floor, Gozu and Mezu. In a short time, Lord Veldora and Lady Ramirez will be visiting. Everyone has to wait quietly. Chief, may I ask a question? This time we'll be here because? You should all have guessed that. Some fools have invaded this maze, and the purpose of this time is to consult with everyone to see how to defeat them. Everyone, welcome to the party. We haven't had a crisis of this magnitude since the opening of this maze. That's why I want to hear from everyone. Gee, that goes without saying. Just shoot to kill. Kumara began to glare at Apito with each other. You've got a chance to appear on my floor this time, haven't you? Apito and those paladins should be playing satisfied these days, right? What's that supposed to mean? If it's Hinata-sama, it's not bad. A paladin is too weak to be an opponent, but it makes me feel even more bored. Kuahahaha. Everyone, stop arguing, and everyone can rest assured. This time there's a chance to prepare everyone for the battle on the field. According to what I've heard, the guys seem to think the maze is only 60 levels at most. Despite our outward propaganda that the maze has a hundred layers, they don't believe it. Do people think it's okay to be so stupid? It's fun to make a scene with them, but it's a pain in the ass. Yes, that's it. Just like Master had just said, waiting for them to attack to the 50th level was really troublesome. Not only is it troublesome for us, but for each other as well. Um, there are about 700,000 people crowded out there right now. Rimuru wants us to lure as many people as possible into the labyrinth, if they're all crammed in by the entrance, it'll take time, won't it? The sheer number of enemies is also a problem. So we intend to distribute the enemy forces separately from the beginning, sending a thousand men to each floor. If you're lucky enough to draw straws, you might be able to run into some serious enemies. Ho ho ho. Maybe there was someone inside who would threaten Rimuru's life, the same guy Benamaru was looking for. But that might be his over-worrying, but then again, just finding out who this person is would be a big help. That means, everyone has a chance, right? If that's the case, I'm fine with that. So if someone comes into their own dominion, we can all do as we please? Ramirez went on to explain. They're also invading one by one at the moment, so all in all we'll put them in order starting with the 40th floor. Whenever the number reaches a thousand, drop down a floor and follow this pace. Gozu and the others will assign other tasks and explain later. That's about it we're going to skillfully disperse the enemy on all floors. The last 40 to 50 tiers would be 100,000 people. The 51st to 60th floor is also 100,000 people. 61 to 70 layers of 100,000. 71 floors to 80 floors and 100,081 levels to 90, 100,000. And then probably let each dragon king deal with 10,000 people? If someone still keeps breaking in, it will divide them up to the upper floors. One more thing not to be forgotten and only this time, we are going to change the rules inside the maze. Each room with dragons will expand to 10 times the normal size, and we'll also let the floors swap and fall into the room with dragons as soon as we break through the 90th floor. But that's not the point. The real point is that the conditions for breaking the barrier change. First of all, once you get through the door this time, you can't get out if you don't break it. To break through would mean having to defeat Veldora, and that would really be a showdown with the whole army out in force. On top of that, the challenge to Veldora was conditional on collecting the 10 keys that the 10 lords of the labyrinth had dropped. That is, 
Even if some people started off from the 80 floors, they still had to go back to the upper floors to beat down 10 lords of the labyrinth. Huh, I hope I have a match to make me swing my sword seriously. Can't be too arrogant, Albert. We just have to figure out how to annihilate the enemies of God. There is a fight between the master and servant that begins to burn. By the way, Lord Ramirez, it's been a matter of asking you before. Oh, oh, that's what I'm talking about. Hum, Rimuru allowed it too, let's observe it this time. Thank you. So, after conferring with Ramirez over something, Beretta stood up and looked around the labyrinth lords. Ladies and gentlemen, Lord Ramirez has assigned me the role of labyrinth coordinator. I'm also a labyrinth lord, but, Beretta personally felt that becoming chief of the ten lords of the labyrinth was just a side hustle. It takes ten people to put together a good sounding name, so Beretta joined the ten just to put together the numbers. And the title also reflects the casual nature of the things that Ramirez does, changing again and again. It's not like he's willing to do it. As for his colleague, Trainee, though in the same position as himself, Ramirez held her in high regard. The reasoning was that she wouldn't scold Ramirez just yet, but Beretta felt it was too much to take. All in all, he was currently forced to rank among the maze's ten lords of the labyrinth in order to make up his numbers. Beretta himself didn't want that, so he was keen to cede the position of the labyrinth ten chief to someone else. Now the opportunity he had been waiting for had finally come. I want to cede my place to the man who made the war. As for my share in this war as a labyrinth lord, I will leave it to His Excellency Gadra over there for the time being. He has been recommended by Lord Adelman as having considerable strength, and his knowledge is recognized not only by me but also by Lady Ramirez. Here we go, the time of this old man has come. If I had taken advantage of this opportunity to make a splash, I wouldn't be a temporary replacement. Well, then, I'll take that as a compliment. Will you take it? That does me a favor, Sir Gadra. Just at this moment, Gadra and Beretta agreed on what was at stake. M. Gadra was willing to accept, and I was happy. Ask Gadra to take charge of the 60 floors. You will do well to enslave the Colossus, the Floor Guardian Colossus. Things were quickly finalized. In this regard too, Ramirez had talked to Rimuru, and they had long since decided to try Gadra. Gadra was usually there to assist in the research work of Ramirez, so he agreed without a second word. M. In that case, let's get a nickname for Gadra, too. Ah, that's right, Gadra. Do you have a nickname you want? Frustrating. His Majesty Rudra was already very good, and these people were no match for him. No, since the other party is a storm dragon, and a labyrinth fairy, that's a natural reaction too. Should we name him, the magic guide? Master, I think that sounds cool. Right? I'm cool when I'm supposed to be cool. Kuahahaha. That's right, that's right, I remember. Gozu and Mezu also have important missions. So, then, what are we responsible for? What's the best thing to do? Go to the 30th floor and stand by so that you can summon the monsters of the passers by over there. If anyone escapes, get rid of them. The location of the resurrection with the bracelet is also arranged on the 30th floor, so it's okay to accidentally kill the wrong person. You've got to work hard. Look at us. We're the floor guardians, for better or worse. If this battle is recognized, our status will be enhanced. That's right, that's it, buddy. This time, don't talk about the petty family business there, talk about taking turns and all that. We'll do everything we can to crush the enemy. If any of the Imperials escape, we will expel them all. That's it. I won't let Lady Ramirez down. Rimuru asked us to bring as many Imperial soldiers into the maze as possible. In order for that to happen, we have to give our opponents some sort of sweet treat. The group listened and nodded forcefully, indicating that they understood. Everyone is clear about their responsibilities. At least on the first day they planned to quietly watch the enemy's movements. Very good very good. Then everyone, come on. By the way, Rimuru said he would be watching the battle as well. Not only is this a way to judge who should be Labyrinth Chief, it's also a chance for him to see how you all behave. The moment those words came out of Ramirez's mouth, everyone's expression suddenly turned serious, serious to the point of being full of killing aura. You say Lord Rimuru will watch us? Zijin had originally been silent, and now even he spoke up. Well, um, um, Rimuru said he'd watch it too. Oh Zijin, what Ramirez said is true. Rimuru was also intrigued by the strength of the maze members. That's why I chose to trust you and decided to let you take on the heavy responsibility of this battle. For Veldora, Zijin was an excellent apprentice to the combat training he had implemented since before. He's also a great player who has a long history of friendship with Veldora. Not only that, 
but depending on the conditions, he even grew to the point where he could fight Veldora to the point of being above even odds. Zijin was too powerful. To ask if there was anyone in the maze who could be Zijin's opponent, there was no one else but Veldora. Yeah, Lord Rimuru will be watching to see how we and others fare, it really gets my blood pumping. Let the adults see how much I've grown, and I'll show it all. Hey, hey, that's a must. He says he's looking forward to it, so people are going to surprise him. From this point on, Ramirez stopped being merciful, so she would no longer be polite and would greet these enemies. Next, the soldiers of the Empire's generals will understand. They will witness the true gesture of this maze. Taste the fear. We are going to win. Dedicate the victory to Lord Rimuru. It became a signal that everyone was out in force. In order to get to the venue that had become hell, they'll wait for the guests to arrive. 